Hello everybody and thank you so much for joining me back into Ostrif as we play the new pottery update and uh, I'm going to just carry on expanding the city up until the time where we can produce our own pottery now I've done quite a bit in this town and if you're new and would like to follow the series and also other game games similar to this and game tip videos please do remember to press the subscribe as well as the bell notification now within the previous episode i was building the ashery as well as the glassworks and uh, i've got that now up and running so you can see we've already produced the first window glass i've got the option to also produce glassware but i'm gonna just let the window glass accumulate for a bit so that we've got enough when we start with the row houses so in fact that is what i would like to do within this episode i want to start building my own row houses maybe just to get one structure done i think that would be good uh, it takes quite a bit of time to get that up and running so yeah i'm gonna do that and uh, let's just see uh, what we've got here going uh, my brickworks it's operating a little bit better now seeing that I've got more laborers so I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward that and uh, I do want to build the dairy production which is gonna go right over here I think it might be appropriate having it close to the slaughterhouse and also to the trading post and uh, what I did off screen also I categorized uh, the marketplace a little bit better so you'll see I've got certain products that's together. So I've got consumables here. And then in this market stall, I've got the non-consumables, which is pretty much just my clothing and then also the firewood. And then I've got one stall that sells the cheese, butter, milk and beef, which is all the products that you get from the cows. Right, so I want to line up just the row house, my first row house. I want to place a smaller one maybe, just to, it, it takes a long time to do, to build the row house. So, I think I'm gonna go ahead and place the first one kind of like here. Uh, it's a pretty square structure. I think I'm gonna just maybe build it like that. I wanna see if I customize. Um, let me see here. Uh, mm, I wonder, they say they've got new roof styles. Uh, so I think that's automatic. You can't go through the different roof styles. I think they automatically choose the roof styles. All right, well, that's fine. I can see it is a little bit different from what I had before, uh, the current one there. So yeah, I wanna kind of like build a square going towards this side. Maybe we can do a few different blocks. So I can do maybe one block close to the main town or the town center. Let's do a block here. So I'm gonna start pretty close to the rest of the buildings. And uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and place it around about there. Okay, so I'm just trading. I'm gonna bring in some charcoal here from Balaklia, just to get the brick works, works uh, going pretty smooth there. And uh, let's just go ahead and sell some sunflower oil to Derkachi. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all for now. I'm gonna very soon have the ability to sell shoes. I wanna see how much uh, wheat I've got at the moment so how much have I got here 2500 and uh, quite a lot here within the farm itself so you know maybe I must just line up some wheat that I can sell as well uh, let's just go ahead and maybe do 400 wheat just to have something small additionally that we can sell um, I think they're gachi yeah they do buy honey so let's maybe just go ahead and sell some honey as well Right, so I still need to do my own lime production. Uh, I'm a bit reluctant to do it at this stage as I need a whole lot of bricks and um, we need a whole lot of charcoal to produce the bricks. So yeah, I'm going to just lay a little bit back uh, producing my own lime. We'll get there soon enough. But uh, yeah, my orchard is looking pretty well. So you can see the trees, the apple trees are growing. They're probably a little bit more than a year old now. So they're looking very healthy at this stage. So for the barber surgery, uh, I need 6,000 uh, bricks as well for the barber surgery. So I'm going to lay back for that one also, up until the time where I've got my first row house built. Alright, so we've got the dairy production going, and uh, let's just set the laborers here as well, and... Uh, yeah, let's just maybe start with one worker for now. I think that should be fine. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of milk. Uh, let's see, it should be... It's going to be in this granary on this side. 
Oh. oh where is my milk? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I haven't listed it in the granary. Okay. Well, you know, let's just do that. Let's just add the milk here. Pretty sure I did have it. And um, have I got the beef? No, also not. So all the beef products I still need to, the cow products I still need to place in the granary. So I'm going to just go ahead and do that. Okay, there we go. I think that should be fine. Right, and they're going to start building the row houses now. I do believe I've got enough um, limestone at the moment. Just see here. Uh, where's my lime? Where's my lime? Okay, well, I should probably order a little bit more lime. Uh, let's go with ordering another 400 maybe. There we go. So my leather production is going pretty well. Um, we we've got a whole lot of cows at this stage, so you can you'll see that both of my cow sheds are pretty much full. So the the butchery there or the slaughterhouse they're getting cows all the time. So that means we've got also a good uh, leather production going here. And I just went ahead and assigned two workers here by the tannery. Uh, just to make sure that the cow hires don't go off. And uh, But pretty soon I'm going to have enough shoes to just start exporting really. Uh, that's ideally what I want to do. Because you get such good money for the shoes. And I think I do have a little bit in storage, so maybe I should just start with 200 shoes at a time. Maybe just do that. And, uh, yeah, let's just maybe sell 200 shoes here to Durkachi. And you can see there, this is pretty awesome, man. So you've got 64 coin that you can get for 200 short shoes. Uh, so that's really good. And I haven't had any money issues with my current setup. There's nobody that was short of money. And my own personal account is looking really good. So I think I've managed to do the right balance like with, with all my money. Okay, so now we're just waiting for that extra charcoal. Like we always do. It's incredible how much charcoal you use at the later stage of the game. So my idea is to set up maybe another two or three orchards here at the bottom. So I think while I wait for those things, let's maybe go ahead and place the new orchard. I want to try and get it square uh, with the other one. So yeah, that looks pretty straight. And let's just do the same here. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that, so I'm going to just leave it like so, and uh, then we can just move the house close to the fence here, and there we go. It's quite a shame that you can't import the bricks though. But you can see with the current labor force that I've got, uh, the harvesting is going pretty well. Yeah, we've got, I've assigned five workers here. That's permanent workers here on the farm. And then we get anything between three and I would say ten laborers additionally that can help with the harvesting. So yeah, I think it's good enough at this stage. And um, I've got a good uh, hay amount um, for my cows, uh, for all of my cows.
So the dried fish production is also going pretty well at this stage and I think uh, that is something that I also want to consider starting to export and um, maybe we must also start just by assigning a little bit of dried fish. So it lasts really r long so you know I th just think maybe I can start exporting that as well. So even if it takes a while for us to get a trader to trade uh, we'll still manage to sell the dried fish. Uh, there's a few towns that do buy the dried fish. I think there's about three or four of them that do buy dried fish. It's almost as popular as the sunflower oil, but not quite. So what I think I'm going to do, seeing that we are waiting for the charcoal, and they're taking forever to produce it, so I'm going to just go to Balaklia again. They do sell charcoal. And uh, there's a few items that I can sell to them now at this stage. I've got a few more trading commodities, so... And I'm currently standing on 130 uh, villagers in the town. Out of that 130, we've got 80 working adults, so that's not bad at all. At one stage, we had so many children, so we just couldn't get the work done. Alright, so we've got almost 2,000 charcoal, which is absolutely perfect. So I'm going to just buy that, and we can sell whatever they need for the sunflower oil. And here you go. So you can see they do buy the dried fish. And I'm going to just go ahead and sell 200 dried fish also. And we can sell honey. Let's do 200 honey. And if there's anything else, I'm not really sure. No. Okay, cool. Well, that's it. Right, and I'm also going to go ahead and sell the 800 uh, sunflower oil to Marefa, as well as a thousand salt. There we go. But still a decent amount of uh, warm clothes, so uh, I think it is time to buy some more iron as well. So I'm going to just go ahead and do that and. Let's maybe just go ahead and buy another 200 lime, maybe. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay, so while I was doing my trading, you can see they've already finished the charcoal pile on this side. Um, so we're going to get a whole bunch of charcoal there. And then we can finish with our brick baking on this side. So, you know, it shows here that they produce metana, but um, I never get to the point of where they actually produce this metana. So, and um, they go through the button cheese so quick in any case. So, I think we're going to just, I don't know. don't want to really, let's just leave it as it is. I think it's okay. So, yeah, I saw somebody, one of the houses popped up. They need money, but uh, it went away again. So they're going to sell all their produce, so then they'll be fine. Like I say, with the current setting that I've got uh, with my money, uh, I'll maybe get one or two houses per year that might uh, need financial help. But uh, it's nothing too, too serious, I would say. So you can see here, uh, this is my settings currently. If you haven't seen it, that's my village house rent. It's one coin. Apartment rent is 0 0.8, land tax 0.3, wealth tax is 1, and they start taxing after 100 coin, after they've got 100 coin. And uh, I haven't bothered, bothered with the tavern tax yet, but I've pushed the barber surgery tax up to 250. And uh, my monthly wages is 230, labor wages 220, and manager wage 345. But that has been working for me very well, I must be honest. So, you can see my balance always stays in a positive. I've got anything between 100 to 300 coin in a positive. Okay, we still need another 1600 here for the second batch of bricks. I've got three workers here now working at the brickworks. So, which I think is fine. And, um,. Let's just see how much bricks. We still need another 4,800 bricks. That's pretty crazy. So they've got to just carry on with that. So 
So the row houses, it's really awesome to have the row houses in a sense that you can fit three to five families within a row house. And um, so that's really cool. So that gives you a massive boost in population and also gives you then obviously a better workforce. But uh, it's just the cost to build these buildings is pretty extreme. Now I do want to see if there's any vegetables that I haven't placed in my granary yet. Um, so I'm going to just scroll through a couple of houses and just see if there's anything that they're producing that I don't have yet. I think I've got pretty much everything. Yeah. Yeah, I don't seem to have left anything out. <clears throat> Okay, cool. Now I think that is pretty much everything that we've got there. All right. We've got another trader here from Durkachi, so let's just go ahead and sell whatever we can. Okay, I really love to trade with the Rukachi. They're definitely f my favorite trader to trade with. Uh, let's just trade another, buy some extra iron. Okay, perfect. Okay, so I fast forwarded the game a little bit and uh, we only need another 1800 bricks for the row house. And the brickworks, they're currently busy doing the last two batches that we need for the row house. So while they're preparing those bricks, I'm going to just go ahead and place the orchard first uh, in the queue. And so we can finish that off while we wait for the bricks. And uh, yeah, I'm quite excited to get that up and going because then once we've got that, we've got probably at least another three families that's going to move in. But now I want to already start looking at the next addition that we can add to the row houses. So what I want to do is to build maybe... Uh, like a three like a bigger <laughs> row house uh, the three floor row house and uh, I want to have an arch in the middle as well so because that's going to be an entry point for the square that we're going to build here so let me just see here okay I'm gonna have to square it up with this other building so I want it to be a kind of biggish structure so that the pathway can be big enough for the people to walk through so uh, but that looks pretty good. I think if I can just extend it maybe a little bit more. I don't want to make the building also too thick. But uh, yeah, I do want to make sure that it's square. And yeah, I think that should be fine. Okay, this should be good. And uh, I'm going to just go ahead and place it like so. And uh, I'm not going to make this block too big, uh, well at least at least not too wide, I'm going to maybe do a few going towards this direction and then we can add another block on this side and maybe potentially on this side as well. It can be like a whole uh, suburban area on this side here. Okay, so I'm going to do another orchard of apples. Uh, I personally think apples are the best orchards to do and um, so it's either between apples or cherries because I know with the cherries you can export that as well but uh, I think there's more demand for apples so let's just go with the apple trees I've got one worker I'm gonna just assign a one worker let's see how far the bricks are okay we're still waiting I think uh, we're getting another thousand there we're still waiting for charcoal? I'm not sure. Okay, but we're pretty close to finishing up with this building. Uh, let's just see what we can trade here with Marefa. I'm gonna definitely trade my dried fish and also the sunflower oil. And then of course the salt. And 
And uh, let's just maybe buy another 200 warm clothes. Uh, my wheat supply is pretty good. So I'm not going to worry about that. I'm pretty sure I was done with this one patch. So unless they maybe took some of the charcoal out of the brickworks, <laughs> I don't really know. So another thing that I was thinking of is to build a square of row houses here on this side as well. Because you know we've got the marketplaces there, which is not too far, but I think I'll probably have to start adding some more marketplaces here pretty soon. Uh, let's just maybe do that now. We don't have to wait for the stall to be built. And um, yeah, let's just maybe squeeze another one in here. There we go. Alright, and I'm going to sign another lady here. Um, let's just say, get the laborers here as well. We get one lady to work here. Alright, so I'm going to maybe just see what we've got a lot of. So we've got plenty of sunflower oil. Looks like a lot of carrots and cabbage on this side. And a lot of garlic and onions. Okay. So let's maybe... I'm going to go ahead and add... For now, I'm going to add some garlic and onions. We will change it up, obviously, when we start with the chicken production. And also with the pigs. Uh, oops, garlic. Uh, I wanted to make that onion. Okay, let's see the onion. And... I think it's cabbage, carrot, carrots and cabbage, yeah. Let's do carrots and cabbage as well. Here we go. Okay, this is just to ensure there's always a, an ample amount of food available for everybody. So if, for example, they sell everything out in one go in the one stall, then they can go to one of the others. Alright, so we are preparing the last batch of bricks here, as you can see. So then we can complete the row house there. So I did saw another coin sign popping up here. Uh, where was this one? Here we go. Uh, let's just maybe help them out here. They've got a pretty good monthly income, so... Kind of strange how they ran out of money. They're buying too much luxurious items, I think. And also off screen, I went ahead and built a well over here. A stone well. So I need to place a, a few more of those. They just look better overall. Just give them a bunch of money there. Okay, we've got the Rikachi here again. So I've got a whole bunch of items that I can trade with them. Uh, have we got apples? Not yet. Don't know when my first apple production is going to come in. Uh, let's see how much we've got a decent amount of iron still. I think for now, let's just maybe buy a few lime. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. Okay, it's three years since I planted the first orchard. So, yeah, I'm wondering, hmm, should be starting to get this year, I think. Not really sure. Right, so the bricks are pretty much done. And then from there, what they will finish the row house. see a lot more of these uh, coin signs popping up now so I think my money is looking good so maybe I can drop something here mm. let's maybe drop the rent a little bit a village house rent yeah let's maybe also push that down to 80 and apartment rent I can do 70 land tax let's do 0.25 yeah maybe that should work here we go what I want to do is while we wait for those last few bricks uh, for the row house, I'm going to start doing the stone pavement uh, in between 
at the buildings here for the town. It looks really nice once you've got the stone pavement up. So I'm going to just start just laying it out. It's, it's quite tricky to do the stone pavement. But uh, if you can get it right it will look pretty nice. So one thing you can't let it overlap with the entrance of these houses. But I want to try and get it as close as I can to this side. Let's see if we can do it maybe like so. Stone pavement, here we go. There we go, let's try to bring it right up against the buildings. Just want to see if I can maybe squeeze it a little bit closer. I'm going to really try and push it. Oh, there we go. Nice. Okay, that, that's our first piece of pavement that we've got there. And uh, let's just maybe go here towards this side. And squeeze another piece in here. That's it. And let's just move this one to the front. It's going to take some time still before we get those uh, those bricks ready. But here you can see I've got now seven builders that I've got assigned here. And so you can see how they're starting to lay the stones. It looks really nice. So we're burning the next batch of bricks and so then we can send those bricks off to the row house. I can definitely up the amount of shoes that I'm selling with with the shoes um, so I've got plenty of shoes now at the moment so maybe increase that number uh, honey no apples oh we've got some apples now okay so the apples I can definitely also move to the storage I'm gonna definitely do that let's maybe go for 400 apples And uh, let's push the amount of shoes that we can sell. I'm going to maybe push it to 400. I think that should be fine. Alright, so our bricks are done. And uh, once we've done this pavement, we can finish off the row house with this, that last few bricks we've got. It's quite therapeutic just to watch them lay all these stones. Okay, that should be the last layer. There we go. Nice. Alright, so they just collected the last few bricks. And they should be finishing up now with this row house. Perfect, there we go. Nice, so our first row house is up 
and we've got three families that can move in now. So yeah, like I said, generally that's the trend with the smaller row houses structure that you get. You've got three families that you could squeeze in. Uh, with the bigger ones, I think you can get up to six families. So yeah, but uh, looking pretty good. But that, that's pretty much all that I wanted to do for this episode, is I wanted to get my first row house up, um, as it is a pretty big job to get that going. But uh, I think off screen, I'm going to start with my own lime production now. Uh, I think it's time to just get that up and going as well. But uh, I want to thank you guys for watching, and uh, within the next video, I think it's safe to say that we're going to be able to start doing our pottery. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.